Hello and welcome to Round Glass. I'm Leah Cullis and I'm your guide for our yoga session today. Today our class is intention in action. So let's take a moment and look at what is intention. Intention is your energetic aim and it's not reserved for your time on your yoga mat. We can bring in this practice of setting an intention anywhere, anytime. I know I set an intention before any big meeting that I have, even if it's with one of my loved ones. <laughs> and I definitely set an intention every time I step on the mat. So an intention is the energy that you align with in every breath and every pose. It's the fuel for your practice that helps carry you forward. An intention is setting your heart aim out so that you can feel the results, you can feel the energy. And when you couple intention with your action, that creates effectiveness. So if we're just working in the realm of intention, that can look like daydreaming. However, if we're just in action, we can quickly come into burnout. Action without intention can leave us running in circles. So the yoga practice, when we merge our breath with our movements, is a prime time to weave in intention, add an intention to our actions to create effectiveness and results that really matter to each of us. So let's get started. Go ahead and come into your comfortable seat. I always recommend sitting on a prop to lift your hips up higher than your knees and empower you to sit as tall and open as you can. In meditation, it simply means tuning into your body, tuning into your breath, and coming into stillness so that you can bring clarity into what you're up to. So let's try it out together. I'm seated in the kneeling position. You can also sit with your ankles crossed or even lay down if that feels best to you as we begin together. But if you're seated, take your palms to your thighs, ground your energy of your hands. Now, sit tall, lift your heart high, and then the top of your head. The more open your spine is, the more your energy can flow through your vital organs and through the super highway of energy that runs up and down the spine. Then let's close our eyes. With your eyes closed, now turn your attention to your natural breath in and out of your nose. And notice how do you feel? How do you feel physically, energetically? How do you feel mentally as we begin our practice today? Now bring both hands to your heart center. You can either stack your palms or unite your hands in prayer, whatever it feels most natural to you. And listen from deep within your chest, your heart space. And ask yourself, how do I wanna feel? within and from my yoga practice today? What will help up lift me off my mat? What energy would be of greatest service in my life right now? Listen to your answers rising up from within. And use your inner listening to create your intention for your practice today. Your intention is what makes your practice personal and allows you to adapt and align in a way that's of greatest service to you both on and off the mat. Once you have your intention, Let's unite our prayer hands together at heart center. 
And then lift your prayer hands up, touch your thumbs to your third eye, that space between your eyebrows. Open up your fingertips, create lotus mudra at your third eye. So it's like creating a funnel with your hands, dropping down into your vision center, your third eye. Use your intention to illuminate the how and the why within every pose. Seal your fingertips up. Slide your thumbs down your nose, over your mouth. Drag across your throat and land again at your heart center. Take a deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Bow your head to your heart. Release your hands to your thighs. Open your eyes and lift your gaze. All right, yogis, let's get moving. We'll put our intentions into action. Let's begin in child's pose. So go ahead and slide your props or your blocks off the side of your mat. Balasana child's pose, we begin close to the earth, grounded. Separate your knees wide, tap your big toes together, and then pour your torso forward so you can lay down on your mat. Keep a soft bend in your elbows so that your back body is supple and receptive. Then begin to deepen your breath. The breath we'll use in this practice is Ujjayi Pranayama. So deepen your breath in and out of your nose and constrict your whisper muscles at the back of your throat so that you can hear and feel each round of breath. Now crawl your fingertips forward, get long from your hip points through your finger pads. Rise on up through a tabletop variation. Tuck your toes, lift your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Now move around in a way that feels good to you. Start to move off any extra energy and move deep into your muscles, your tissues. Continue to deepen your breath. So each side of the breath is about four counts. Walk your hands back to your feet. Ensure that you have enough space between your feet, about two fists or wider. The wider the stance, generally the more supportive the base. Palms to shins, halfway lift, stretch your heart forward. Do it with intention and purpose. Exhale, forward fold, down. Grab opposite elbows, hang in ragdoll. Set your gaze at one point to help stabilize you with your head below your heart. Then lift your breath into your upper back. Massage the spaces between your ribs with your breath. Release your fingertips to the earth. Then palms to shins. Halfway lift one more time. Get really long through your whole spine. Now interlace your ten fingers at your back. Once you have your fingers interlaced, roll your arm bones up and back, broaden across your collarbones, straighten your arms to your degree, keep the length, exhale forward fold. Even if that means bending your knees more, maximize the space, the expansion for your spine. Keep your bind. On your exhale, bend your left knee deeply, kiss your left shoulder to your left knee, turn and look to the right. Then switch sides, swing your arm bind back behind you, look to the left. Come back to center, bend your elbows nice and steady, hands to the earth, crawl your hands forward, downward facing dog. Inhale, sweep your right leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to your nose. Step to your right thumb, lower your left knee down. Stack your hands on top of your right knee and then plunge your hips more forward. Roll your arm bones up and back so your heart is open and your gaze is clear, vision clear. Next inhale, sweep both arms high. Look up. Unite your palms overhead and lift your fingertips higher. Big breath in. Exhale. Circle your arms out wide. Frame your front foot. Pop your left knee up. 
straighten both legs. Inhale, halfway lift here. Exhale, bow over your right shin. Work your third eye towards your shin. Even if that means bending your knee, can you create a connection? Next inhale, come forward. Walk your hands to the inside of your right foot. Lower your left knee down once again. Toe heel your right foot out slightly to the right edge of your mat. Left hand off the left edge of your mat. Go wide here. Inhale, sweep your right arm high. Look beyond your right thumb. Lean your heart back behind you. Option here to reach your right hand back behind you. Keep looking to your fingertips. Bend your left knee, early quad stretch. Pull your heel in towards your glutes. Draw your upper arm bones back and look up to the heavens. Gracefully release, sweep your top arm around, land your hands to the top of your mat, step back, downward facing dog. Take a moment here, pedal out your knees and notice how you feel. Are you creating your poses in a way that helps you embody and generate the energy of your intention? Next inhale, sweep your left leg high. Exhale, knee to your nose. Zip up your low belly. Use your core strength to step your left foot forward. Lower your right knee down. Press down through your feet. Lift both hands to the top of your left knee. Set your drishti. So your physical gaze helps bring intention and purpose into your poses. Plunge forward, lift your heart high. Inhale, circle your arms wide, reach up. Unite your palms overhead, lift your prayer hands higher. Exhale, touch the earth, straighten both legs. Half lift here, get long. Exhale, fold over your left shin. See if you can make a connection to your third eye. Play with your shape. The practice of intention setting isn't a perfect recipe, right? We are combining our actions with our efforts. Rebend your front knee, lower your right knee down, slide both hands to the inside of your left foot and scoot your left foot out to the outer edge. Slide your right hand off the edge as well. Inhale, left arm high, look up to your fingers. Keep your drishti at your hand, open your heart as you reach back. But then bend your knee, quad stretch. Continue to draw your upper arm bones back, drag the tops of your ears back as well. Exhale, gracefully release, plant both hands and step back, downward facing dog. Deep breath in, yogis. Open mouth, exhale. Inhale, look forward, see where you're going. Bend your knees, exhale, step walk or hop your feet up to your hands. At the top of your mat, halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise to stand, reach all the way up, all the way up, all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Tap your thumbs into your heart space and flare your fingers out wide. Set your gaze at the union between your fingertips. Notice as you're clear in your physical gaze, you can also see everything around the union of your hands. So you're specific and open. You're clear, but also receptive with your vision. Same goes for intention. So bring the specificity in with your poses and allow your practice to emerge. There's a trust in the practice of intention. All right, let's flow, yogis. Inhale, reach both arms up, see your fingertips. Exhale, keep your gaze at your prayer hand and forward fold. Hands to the earth. Palms to shins, halfway lift, look to the floor. Plant your hands, step your feet back, high plank pose. Look forward, press to your toes, lower halfway or all the way. Inhale, up dog or low cobra, gaze is slightly forward or lifted. Exhale, 
downward facing dog. You always have the options to shift through child's pose and then meet in downward facing dog. Once you come into dog pose, set your gaze between your heels. Then every time you come back to downward dog, which we do often in this vinyasa practice, you'll have a measure for how your body's responding as you bring this intentional action, setting your gaze each time you're in downward dog. All right, let's float. Inhale, look forward. Bend your knees. Keep your gaze forward. Exhale, step or hop. Feet to your hands. Palms to shins. Halfway lift. Gazes to the earth. Exhale, forward fold. Bow. Even look up to your navel. Press through your feet. Arms wide. Reach up. Urdhva Hastasana. Look at the union of your hands. Exhale, heart center. One big breath in. Full breath out. Keep your drishti at your hands. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, trace your center line forward fold. Nice. Halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Plant your hands, vinyasa. Step back, high to low push up on your exhale. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Big breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Next inhale, look forward, exhale, move your feet up to your hands. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale, forward fold, setting up for our sun B variation, chair pose, inhale. With your exhale, sweep your arms back behind you. Stay lifted through your chest in your chair, but your arms reach back behind you. Your heart is leading the way here, so keep open, y'all. Sit a little lower. Option to lift up on your toes. You'll challenge your balance, but keep your drishti forward, your heart energy shining out in front of you. Sit a little deeper wherever you are. Next exhale, ground your heels. Inhale, rise to stand. Reach up and look up. Exhale, trace your center line forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, plant your hands. Move through your vinyasa. High to low push up. Up dog or low cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Set your gaze between your heels and steady your breath. Remember your intention. Each asana, each posture is an opportunity to create and embody this energy. With your next inhale, sweep your right leg high. Exhale, knee to your nose. Step to your right thumb, even if that means taking a few steps. Be kind to yourself in the process. Let it be an energetic play. Inhale, rise up. Warrior one. In this first warrior one, check out your feet. Check out your foundation. Notice, are there any adjustments that you can make to own your space even more? That might mean stepping your back foot slightly out to the side giving yourself more space to adjust your hips. Try it out. Once you have your placement, then go deeper. Lean in, be in it, be in it fully. Big breath in, exhale, touch the ground, and vinyasa flow. Inhale upward, exhale, downward dog. Left side, inhale, float your left leg up. Exhale, step forward. Get grounded, you're setting up your stage. Inhale, lift up, Virabhadrasana one. Now notice how you feel in this shape. Are there any adjustments that you can uniquely make to embody your intention? So it might look like stepping out wider, maybe going shorter, or going bigger, leaping into a bigger stance. Then fill your shape up with the energy you came here for. Big breath in. Exhale, let's flow. Inhale, downward facing dog. Deep inhale, open mouth, sigh it out. <sighs> Sometimes this helps to add a little noise to the release. All right, inhale your right leg high. Exhale, step into your warrior one stance. Get grounded through both the heels. Inhale, rise up. Okay. Bring in your wisdom that you just created about your feet position. 
Then steer your hips forward. Now sweep your arms back behind you. Look beyond your right big toe. Option to stay here or clasp your bind behind you. Continue to let your heart lead the way, yogis. Press down through your feet, zip up your low belly. Option for humble warrior. Humble warrior, slide your right shoulder inside your right knee. Look to your left heel. See yourself as sturdy and grounded. Let your breath be free. And can you drop your head a little more? Trust. Press down through both feet. Keep your bind. Inhale, rise up. Listen carefully. Set your arm bind on your right hip crease. Release your right arm. Inhale, reverse your warrior with a half bind. Oh, big movement here. Now straighten your front leg. Continue with your half bind. Reach forward, forward, forward. Half bound triangle pose. Squeeze your shoulder blades together behind you. Your gaze can be down to the side or up, whatever feels best to you. Make it your own. Now, sweep your bound arm up and around, go big. See your fingertips reach forward, forward, forward. Then down to the earth, frame your right foot. Come forward through a low lunge, lower your back knee down. Inhale, see your right arm lift up to the sky. Fingers sparking open like an antenna. From your heart, through your fingertips. Exhale, both hands down. Vinyasa flow. Pause here. Set your gaze. Steady your breath. And notice the difference between your two sides. Notice how you feel after putting your intention into your actions. Let's build on the left side. Inhale, float your left leg high. Step forward in your warrior one stance. Get grounded in your energy. Inhale, rise. Exhale, hinge forward, sweep your arms back. Palms face the earth. Notice when your heart starts to round and your shoulders collapse in, back up your shape slightly. Yogi leads with an open heart, gazes to the earth. Power more through your back heel. Bind at your back, funky thumb on top this time. Straighten your arms, bow into your humble warrior. Bring your breath, yogis. Every inhale, you flood your body with intention. Each exhale, send it out, let it fill the space around you. You are a mighty generator of the energy you came here for. Zip up your low belly. Keep your bind. Inhale, rise back up. Set your bind on your left hip crease. Inhale, sweep your left arm high. Reach up and back. Keep the length. Straighten your front leg. Now hinge forward. Trikonasana, triangle. But again, set your gaze in a way that works for you. Not the way you've done it before. Not the way someone else is doing it. But what feels good to you? You've got to bring the energy into your experience for it to matter. All right, circle your top arm up and around. See where you're going. Look to the earth. Rebend your front knees. Set your right knee down. Inhale, left arm high. Big expansion across the heart. Exhale, touch the mat. Let's flow. High to low push up. Inhale up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Deep breath in, open mouth, exhale. All right, the sequence is laid within your body now. Let's step into the flow together, intention in action. Here we go, inhale your right leg high. Exhale, step forward, claim your space, press down and rise. Exhale, hinge forward, sweep your arms back. Bind if you did on the other side. Inhale, shine your heart forward. Exhale, bow, humble warrior. Stay for your inhale, stay for your exhale. Keep your bind, inhale, rise back up. Place your arm bind on your right hip crease. Inhale, lean up and back, bound half warrior. Straighten your front leg, 
Reach your right arm forward, right hand down. Next inhale, circle your arm around, nice and steady. Look to the earth, bend your front knee, set your back knee down or not. Inhale, dragonfly twist. Exhale, touch the earth and vinyasa flow. Wipe the slate clean, stay in the action. Inhale, your left leg high. Last time through, exhale, step forward, both feet grounded into the earth. Inhale, rise. Exhale, lean forward as you sweep your arms back. Let it be of purpose. Bind at your back. Inhale, get longer. Exhale, trust your roots as you bow. Stay for a full breath. Press down to your feet. Inhale, rise, half bind. Reverse your warrior, left arm up and back. Straighten your front leg. Reach your left fingers forward, get long, get long. Left fingers down. Inhale, sweep your right arm up and around like a rainbow. Return to the earth. Dragonfly twist. Exhale, let's flow, yogis. Deep breath in, open mouth, exhale. Look forward, step walker, hop your feet up to your hands. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale, bow. Inhale, rise, reach to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center. Set your gaze at your fingertips or close your eyes and notice how you feel now. What's the energy you're cultivating within your poses that's now filling your body, filling the space around you? We all have a say in the energy that we experience and that we bring with us wherever we go. So if you've noticed you've drifted, come back to your intention. Remind yourself of what you're up to and why you're here today. Then blink your eyes open. Set your drishti at the horizon line. So see one point that doesn't move. And then open up your vision to be receptive around your clarity. We're never closed in yoga. We're always moving between strength and openness. Stira and sukha. Keep your vision. Inhale, left arm high. Shift your weight into your left foot. Bend your right knee. Catch your right foot. If it's too much with your arm extended, you can keep your left hand at your hip and simply work on the quad stretch, pulling your right heel towards your glutes. If you're ready to move on, we'll progress into Natarajasana Dancer. Good. Keep your vision at the horizon line. Hinge forward. Left arm lifts to where the wall meets the ceiling. Kick your right foot back behind you. You can also catch the inside of your right foot for more of a shoulder opener. Reach in opposition, you stay steady with your energy and your gaze in between the two points of the bow. Slowly come back to center, reground your right foot, hands at heart, see the union of your fingertips and bring balance to your body with your breath. Deep inhale all together. Open mouth, exhale. Second side, lift your gaze. Look beyond where you are right now. See where you're going. Right arm up. Shift your weight into your right foot. Catch your left foot. So if you're maintaining the quad stretch, this is great. Catch the outside of your foot or shift to the inside and progress into dancer's pose. Kick your left shin back as you reach your right fingers forward. Lift your heart through the center. Steady breath. And gracefully step your feet together, hands to heart. Deep breath in, open mouth, exhale. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, forward fold, we bow. Halfway lift, plant your hands, step back to downward facing dog. And walk halfway up your mat, drop to your knees, Cross your ankles behind you. 
roll over your feet and extend your legs forward or however you need to come down kick grounded on the earth with both legs extended we're going to seal all of our intentional work into our centers right we've done this expansion the looking out from inner wisdom looking out bringing it into action now we pull it all back into our centers inhale both arms up keep the length through your spine as long as you can even if that means bending your knees exhale forward fold catch the knife edge as edges of your feet inhale scoop your heart forward exhale pull yourself into a deep bow deep steady breaths yogis Every inhale, trace from your sacrum up through your crown. Each exhale, pull your energy deep into your low belly. Allow your yoga to land within you. Next inhale, look forward. Exhale, engage your core, rise up to your seat, and lay all the way down on your back. We're coming into the final and most important pose, Shavasana. You've already done the work. You've done the intentional, skillful placement of your body and brought your breath, your energy into the game. Now it's time to simply receive. Separate your feet wide, turn your palms up to the sky. Let go of any effort in your breath, any effort in your muscles, Simply rest and allow your yoga to take root within you. Shavasana. If you have the space and the time to stay and savor the benefits from your practice, please stay in Shavasana. If you're ready to move on, gently rock your head side to side. And sweep your arms overhead, slide your feet together, stretch your whole body long. And take a deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Pull your knees into your heart and gently roll to one side. Pause here for a moment. Notice how you feel now. What does it feel like within you to have committed intentional action for the last 30 minutes? To move with purpose, align your body and your breath with one intention. Keep this energy close as you press yourself up to a seat. And let's meet together with our hands at heart. We'll celebrate our practice today by singing one final om. Take a big breath in. Lift your prayer hands up to your third eye. Seal the wisdom from your body into your mind. Bowing forward, we say Namaste. Thank you so much for sharing your yoga practice today. I'm Leah Cullis. Please join us for more yoga and meditation on round.glass or on our app. Be well, yogis.